Hello everybody, my name is Bear Cozy, and today we're playing some Awaken Chaos Era. If you're new here, I strive to make not only entertaining, but also educational videos, and I also make play along videos and show my account progress. So if you're playing, let's play together, and if you're not playing just yet, join me, let's have some fun. If you are coming back, thank you so much for coming back and watching all of my videos. Today, what I want to focus on today is all about Nathalia. Now, Nathalia is actually a really, really good hero, and I'm really enjoying her. In the last video, what we did together, in the last video, we actually ascended her together, and she is, right now, she is actually two-star ascended, which affects her trait, which is awesome. Now, last week, I asked for your votes and your opinions on who I should ascend. I had access to two Awakened Soul Arcanas, and most of you voted for Nathalia. So in the last video, that is what we did. We ascended her together, and we also compared her damage numbers on Ascended versus Ascended, two-star Ascended, that affects her trait. So today is going to be a Hero Spotlight on Nathalia. But first, let's pull some shards. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I like to start with daily shard pulls because we do get some good stuff together. And I currently have gotten two legendaries from the free daily shard, and I'm hoping for one more. So let's go ahead and pull, see what happens. Now, I just got Hydrisia, who is my newest Lego, and my Mercy got reset, so I'm not expecting anything anytime soon. We got Kallik, he is okay. And as you can see, I'm out of shards, so we're gonna be moving on. Scrolling through my backpack, I actually did find a summoning crystal, and I wanna go ahead and use it because I am very low on fire heroes, and I am trying to work through Tulpa 11 into 12. I have completed Tulpa 11, but I need some more fire heroes for Tulpa 12, so hopefully this will give us something good. Let's go ahead and pop one. I'm gonna save the rest in case there's an event. I know that they don't do them very frequently, but it does happen. We're gonna pull it on as needed basis. We actually got Evelyn. Evelyn I actually need for the synthesis, which is really cool. I'm very happy with this. And she's gonna be going into my Cyrus synthesis. When we get there, I believe Evelyn is the last one that I need. So that's really cool. So here we go, Nathalia. Now, if you don't know, Nathalia is actually an amazing hero. I got very, very lucky with her when I downloaded the game, and I actually didn't realize it until after I built her and I geared her. So Nathalia is actually a water element hero, and as you could see under her base stats, her attack is actually S tier, making her a really good nuker. Her speed is okay, her crit rate isn't bad, she does start with 8% right away. Her health and defense is very, very low, but she is a glass cannon. So looking at Nathalia, let's start with her trait. Nathalia's trait is called Arcane Energy. For every positive effect this character has, their abilities affect one extra enemy. If they have more than four positive effects, it affects all enemies. So Nathalia is actually a single target nuker, but her trait allows her to affect multiple enemies at the same time. Now, my Nathalia is actually ascended, and we did that in the last video together. We ascended her twice. I got my first Awakened Soul Arcana from the Gear Enhancement event. And the second one I actually bought with trial tokens by completing Endless Trial from the Bartender. For every positive effect this character has, their abilities affect one extra enemy and increase damage by 10%. If they have more than four positive effects, it affects all enemies and increases damage by 40%. And that extra 40% increase is very, very big. Moving on to her basic. Now her basic is actually pretty interesting. Deals 80% damage to an enemy and grants a random stat up to this character for one turn. Now, she does put up a random stat up, and the random stats are on the left-hand side. So there's quite a big list here, but it's actually pretty good because this works really well with her trait. As we've seen, for every positive effect this character has, their abilities affect one extra enemy and increase the damage by 10%. And after she uses her basic she actually grants herself one more positive effect. Her passive applies attack up and immune for two turns if this character is buffed by a positive effect at the start of turn. So if she is affected at the start of the turn, she puts up another buff on herself. She gives herself attack up and immune, so that gives her two more positive effects on herself, and it can only be triggered every three rounds. And of course, this all works really well with her trait. 
And then her ultimate is called Arcane Nova, deals 200% damage to an enemy. If the enemy is killed, the ability cooldown is reset, and that's what makes her really, really good for clearing waves. So as I've said before, Nathalia is a single target nuker, but if she has a positive effect on herself, she will actually activate her passive, give herself two more positive effects, which will be three, and then she will use her ultimate, and then if her ultimate kills any enemies, her ultimate will actually reset. So this makes her very, very good as a glass cannon. And considering her ultimate does 200% damage to an enemy, that is really, really huge, especially with a two-star ascension. Now the first star ascension affects her base attack, and that gives her 15% more base attack, which is big. And then the second one, that's the heavy duty one right there. The second one will actually, if she has four or more positive effects, it affects all of the enemies and increases her damage by 40%, so that allows her to nuke even harder. There are a few places that Nathalia is really good in, one of them being Ash Magisteria. The other place she's very, very good is, of course, Adventure, because as she kills enemies, her ultimate resets, allowing her to continue killing the enemies. Nathalia is also very, very good in Arena, and we can take a look at that in a second. The last place Nathalia shines is actually in Endless Trial. Now, if you are using Nathalia in Endless Trial, one of the best spells that synergize really well with her is Drop Silver. Single target attacks have 20% chance to be cast twice for the next three battles. And since Nathalia is a single attack nuker, this spell synergizes really, really well with her. The other reason to bring Nathalia into Endless Trial, if you have her, is of course Soul Chaser Blade. When attacking a single target, there's a 20% chance to attack again. And since I run Nathalia, Zatlux, and Antonua, her are all single targets, and of course Nathalia straight allows her to affect multiple enemies, this spell, this buff, works really, really well with my whole team. So Endless Trial is another fantastic place that Nathalia shines. Nathalia is very, very good in multiple places, and one of them being Adventure. Now, I am going into 7-5 Adventure mode for some glyphs, and as you can see, Mike Connor is going to be going first. He's going to be putting up buffs on everybody, not only activating Nathalia's trait, but also increasing her damage. So that is the way I run my team, and that is the way I run my, my Nathalia. So there we go, Antonua is going. She is recently built. And then, of course, we're going to have Nathalia go, and she's going to wipe them up and use her ultimate. And if she kills any enemies with her ultimate, it makes it reset, allowing her to use it again on the next turn. There she goes again. Her ultimate is reset because she killed a bunch of enemies. And just like that, you could see she is a killing machine. And whatever Nathalia doesn't kill, Zatlux will clean up. As we've seen, she needs to start with a positive effect on her turn to make her affect multiple enemies. So, Nathalia right now is actually very, very good with Brand. As you can see, my Brand is only level 50, but Brand actually does, at the start of the turn, he grants a shield worth of 5% of this character's max health to all team members, allowing Nathalia to start with a buff. Connor is the next one that is very, very good to pair with Nathalia because Connor grants all team members attack up and shield, which gives her two positive effects as long as Connor goes first. And as you can see, Mike Connor is at 167 speed. He's only 50, but he's ascended all the way because I've pulled a bunch of them. Connor is very easy to get, so if you don't have Connor, make sure you complete your Covenant challenges. There are lots of good heroes that Nathalia works really well with. William is another one. I know not everyone will have William, but William, if you're pairing her with William, or you can use Ice Wolf if you don't have William. William, you will have to start with the counterattack to get her, to get Nathalia's trait working so she can be the nuclear weapon that she's designed to be. So as I've said, Nathalia is a single target nuker, but her trait allows her to affect multiple enemies. So if you're building a team and you don't have William or you don't have anybody else, you're not able to use Connor, what you can actually do is you can actually use Shield of Mercy and you can put this on Nathalia at the beginning of the dungeon, and that will activate her trait, allowing her to nuke multiple enemies. So Shield of Mercy is actually a very, very good option if you're not using a hero that provides buffs. Going into Arena, these are the heroes that I'm currently using. Nathalia works really well in a guard set to give her that fourth buff, and right now I just don't have the stats to put her in a guard set, 
and to hit the crit damage that I need. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be using Shield of Mercy, and that is going to count as one buff on Nathalia at the start of her turn. Now, I currently have Winstrix, Nathalia, Zatlux, and Orac. Winstrix is going to go first. She's not only going to give us the speed, but she's also going to give us attack up. That will put three buffs on Nathalia at the start of her turn. Then, of course, Nathalia Special is going to put up one more, giving her four buffs. And she's going to be using her ultimate to make her the glass cannon that she is. So here we go. There goes her ultimate. There we go. You can see the damage that she does. No defense down. Most of them are almost dead. Zalix is going to come in and clean up anybody that's left alive. And then if we have a tank with a lot of HP, I'm just going to go ahead and use Orac. Now, unfortunately, Zatlux is weak to fire, so he actually didn't kill everybody there, but Orac should. So here we go. There goes in Orac finishing off everybody, and they're all dead. So there you have it, just like that. And I am in plat again. Arena just reset, and I'm already back to plat. I'm going to continue climbing, and I'm going to keep using Nathalia as my nuker. Now, Nathalia actually works really, really good in a guard set, but as I said, I don't have enough stats to put her into a guard set. So Shield of Mercy does work for now. And going forward, I will be trying to get her into a guard set and still make sure she has over 200% crit damage. So there you have it. I hope you liked the Hero Spotlight. If you've enjoyed the video, give me a subscribe down below. Also hit the thumbs up button. That will help YouTube to drive my video and to reach more people like you so more people can see it. If you have Nathalia, don't sleep on her. She's amazing. One last thing I want to mention, don't forget to farm your glyphs. The most common problem I hear about is people missing lots of glyphs or, of course, not maxing out their skills. All of this will affect your hero's performance. And if you have Nathalia, don't forget to build her. She is really, really good. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.